just like that, it's takeoff time. Goodbye, Doha, and I'll be seeing you soon again, UK. I flew from Heathrow Airport, and at this point, I've been traveling for more than 15 hours already. On this video, we are going to go through everything that's on the menu. You'll see what it's like dining here with Qatar Airways. I'm taking business class Boeing 777-300ER. Unfortunately, this is not a Q-suite, but nevertheless, the food is still excellent. Wait until you see the selection that they offer. Okay, thank you very much. If you haven't seen my other videos, this is what it's like boarding the plane. I love fresh, freshly squeezed orange juice, no sugar added, first thing before we take off. Next is they'll provide you a toiletry bag, and then you have your protective kit, which I won't be using because we already have everything inside. And of course, my favorite pillow, love, work, travel, repeat. The next thing is a very important task at hand. Of course, the flight attendant will take your order. And from here, I already reserve a cheese platter because that gets sold out really fast. And for the rest of my food and beverage, you'll just have to wait and see. I've got loads of continental and oriental dishes, as well as a wide selection of wine. We're literally going to go through every single item on the menu, so if you might find this boring, feel free to skip. But just out of reference, here we go. This is what they offer. If you don't fancy something heavy, they have something called light options. And it's a brunch platter, which you have six tasting portions, but still designed to satisfy your cravings. It's got tropical fruit, sun-dried tomato brioche with prawn tikka. It's got polenta cake, tomato and spinach cheese pie, and some herb and cheese omelette with homemade veal sausage and raisin almond danish. Next, it has salad as well, croque monsieur, and followed by a classic quiche Lorraine so it's got blue cheese salad as well so it actually sounds pretty delicious and it comes with a freshly baked croissant they will also give you some artisan bread which comes with dips like balsamic vinegar tomato chili spicy lemon and pomegranate so you just have to let them know which you prefer of course you can always try all of them and then they have the soup of the day followed by appetizer which is you have a choice between Asian tuna tartare or the signal Arabic medze so that's got hummus, tabbouleh, and mutabal. I personally like that, but I also like the tuna tartare. And then for the mains, we've got pan-fried lemongrass salmon with Thai red curry sauce, corn-fed chicken adobo. Adobo is very, very Filipino, something we got from the Spanish, I believe. And next is fried tofu cake with soya braised vegetables, which is a vegan option if you don't fancy meat. Of course, this is my favorite, the cheese plate or platter. If you've seen any of my videos, you know how much I love my cheeses and wine. And then, of course, for dessert, there's the San Sebastian Basque Cheesecake or the Cannoli Trio. So in the end, you'll see that I ended up ordering actually all the desserts. The next part is a lot of people's favorite and to be honest since the start of the pandemic I've drank less close to zero just because I don't go out that much and I don't really fancy getting a buzz at home. So we'll go through the list and I'll just point out to you which one's my favorite and of course everything is a preference most especially with wine. First page we have some wine selection from France and the next page we have some Chardonnay again from France and on the right side we have a Sauvignon Blanc which I also love because it's lighter, it's more crisp. On the next page is something that I like. I ordered a Montesole from Italy. It's only because it's something I haven't tried. On the right side there is a Bordeaux which I love. Oh my gosh, I love any Bordeaux wine. There's also a good Shiraz or now they say Syrah but I did order the Albert Bichot and it's also something I haven't tried yet and of course you have your dessert wine and you have your 20 year old port wine and there you have it if you don't fancy wine they do have other beverages like mocktails and you've got beer uh, there's just a wide selection my personal favorite is the karak chai get both saffron and cardamom make sure it's chilled so do you know what I actually don't see any outlets for charging your device I wonder if this plane is that old and there are actually no USB ports or anything that's been, yeah, weird. So I shall ask the flight attendant later if there's any outlets for charging my device. Because my camera, you, you're like going on low battery. And I also forgot to show you one tiny thing.
course, since COVID started, it's been very difficult. If I'm not mistaken, the Philippines is one of the last countries to open up to the rest of the world. But finally, this 2022, hopefully tourism here will be a little bit better because, yeah, we've just started accepting or welcoming foreigners and tourists again. So I'm very much looking forward to going back home and, of course, making sure I don't have any quarantines anymore. And that's us literally leaving Doha. So goodbye, Doha. And soon I'll be saying hello to Manila, my other home. So according to the announcement, we actually get one hour of free Wi-Fi. Let's see if it works. So unfortunately, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. I did try, but I was very hopeful. I think I flew with Emirates before and I did get one hour of Wi-Fi. So right but anyway go check out my instagram that's what it looks like and yeah do follow me if you want to stick around on my next video because i'm going to be indulging in all the wine and the food and you'll get to see what it's like dining here with qatar airways i love that they offer the dine on demand experience so anytime during your flight you can have a legit meal and they'll set up the table with Everything complete, the tablecloth, the utensils, the silverware, and just basically enjoying what they have to offer. I definitely did try some of their cocktails. Well, I would say mocktails, and I also had loads of their wine just for wine tasting because of course I didn't want to arrive in a lot of passed out but stick around because I'm just going to be enjoying this flight in total it's about an eight hour flight seven hours and 50 minutes to be specific so I hope you'll join me and safe travels everyone bye